Hey, check this out, right? I don't care how you see it. I don't care what you call me. Call me sassy. Call me tangy. Call me a bitch. But if I'm blocking you, I'm blocking you for my mental peace and my health, bitch. Talk that talk, King. Talk that talk. Yo, hey. This is the time. The time is now. You have to protect your peace. He said it. We have to really protect our peace because we're going through so much mental trauma as men. We're having to navigate these rough seas. We're having to diffuse these bombs in real time. It's not much you can do because so many women are asking for so many different things. You have to now be the perfect guy. Who's signing up for that? Who's signing up to be the perfect guy? And it's not maybe not the best thing. And I'll maybe take it two different ways. One, the family dynamic is doomed at this point. Like nobody's even thinking about building a family, about creating with someone. Everyone is independent. Everyone is independent, bossed up, self-aware, working on themselves on a healing journey. Like, like no one's trying to tap in and build a team and a structure and a foundation and a unit. Nope. We all for self. And the dating apps helped us get here. Instagram, the coloring book for adults, is aiding and assisting in dating being trash. That's just a fact. So when I really look at it, I'm like, yo, everything he's saying in this video is correct. A lot of women are taking this initiative to call men beta short kings you can't handle love you can't do this you got to make more money than me all these different dynamics that the average guy has to deal with the everyday joe that's just trying to live his life watch sports and tap in with his family nope he got to do way more than that to get your attention so at the end of the day what can you really do and something that's even deeper than that is this homophobic or rhetoric that Women are pushing on men. Just because a guy does not want to deal with you does not mean he's gay. Like, we have to chill out with this because this is not cool to me. And this is something that I'm realizing. I'm like, yo, how many times as a man have I wanted to deny sex and I couldn't for fear of being gay? I'm like, yo, this is wild. Like, you can't do it. I've never done it. I've never said, no, I can't go right now. Even if I might have felt that way. Now, <laughs> have I faked a couple of nuts? Yes, why not? We got to get in and out. We got to go in and out. We done so. We can't be in here all day, right? But yeah, women do this thing now where if a guy don't really want to deal with you, all of a sudden he's gay and that doesn't make any sense to me, right? Isn't that disrespectful to the LGBT community, right? I would assume... So, yeah, ladies are just doing all these different things, not taking any type of accountability and giving dudes all these random nicknames, stigmas and stereotypes. I'm like, damn, we have to relax, but I don't get it anymore. That's why I've just tapped out from the streets. There's nothing you can really do when nothing you do will really live up to the hype. It just won't. Nothing you do will stop will be up to her expectations because there's another guy, another simp right behind you ready to crash out and do whatever. He going to spend 12K like Bam Man Kevil. He going to fire out for 5K like that goofy dude in the hotel room. He going to give her a Manny Petty on the first date for 260 bones. And now, once she's gotten this fake five-star treatment, it's up to you to maintain this standard for her because now that's what she thinks she's worth. That's what she thinks she's worth. I don't know. It's a bad stock, I guess. It's just a stock being boosted up by the media. It's like, man, why am I talking about finances? I'm, it's not neither here nor there. It's an L, for lack of better words. <laughs> if I'm keeping it short and sweet, it's not a win because anytime you have to deal with these women, you're now talking them off of a ledge, meaning they already have a perception of men that isn't the best. They've been dealing with some guy named Jacek Jason, <laughs> some guy named Ricky, who's just been blowing their back out and then talking to their friend on the side. And once they kind of figure that out, they're like, oh, he's never going to change. Now they're coming right to you, King. They're coming right to you to spend all your bread and try to get their mental back right. Because that's all it is. It's just an ego boost. One dude wastes your time, messes up your feelings. Now you want a healing journey. But while on that healing journey, oh, 
Let me get a quick roster real quick. Let me get a couple of dudes to satisfy me in different ways. You got the one dude blowing your back out. You got the one dude maybe paying a couple of your bills. You got the one dude who you can call to pick you up from the airport. You got the one dude at the bank giving you financial advice. You got all these different men for all these different things. I'm like, how can you even really tap in? And that's why I say, yo, the family dynamic is done. That's kind of one of my biggest goals out here for real is just to find a nice quality joint, a nice quality woman and build. Hear my cry. <laughs> no, I'm messing around. I'm joking. <laughs> but no, I'm sure there are some guys like that where they're just like, bro, they just praying for a good woman. Praying. That's like the dude. He prayed for the good woman. He met her in church and then she started creating TikToks off this man's face. Now this man's face is so dirty. They calling him Kirk Franklin. Jesus Christ. The streets are done. You can't tell me a lie. The streets are over with. What are we saying here? Yeah, because it's nothing you really can do. Once a girl go to calling you sassy, it's like, yeah, you just got to take the L because are you going to argue with this person? Are you going to try to prove a point? Are you going to get into a debate? Negative. Water off a duck's back. I'll be letting a lot of things roll off my back. I can't even do it, bro. Trying to step up to the plate and argue with some of these human beings is worthless. It's worth the time. Can't do it. Continue to drop those comments. Continue to tell me how I'm wrong. Make fun. All that. Beta. Don't care. <laughs> No, nah, <laughs> somebody called me that in the comments and it made me think of that one dude and I was trying to find it. I have no idea who this guy is, but he just says beta. I'm like, damn, this is hilarious. But yeah, I don't know. You just got to move with a different type of energy this year, Kings. That's really what it's about. You really have to understand that women are not going to respect you until you really boss up, elevate and respect yourself. And what that means is putting the bag into your account. Right. That's all you really have to do, because that's all most of these women respect. And you essentially don't have to lead with money when you get it. I'm not saying get money to trick off negative. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying get money to hold the standard. You got 20K coming into your account a month, maybe 30K coming into your account a month. You're going to move and operate with a different level of energy. You just are. You're going to move like that guy. And when you move like that guy, women respect that. But they can tell when you're hunched over, not really making eye contact, shaking, nervous, not confident. They see all of that. They move off the energy. It is what it is. That's why I say, yeah, you just got to really not only build your social currency. And that's even on a different note, because securing the bag is different. That takes mental toughness, a little bit of fortitude. That's why I say get in the gym for the feeling of it, for the mental clarity of it. But then on the opposite spectrum, you got to get some social currency. And I think personally, in my opinion, that comes from reading. The more books you read, the more things you tap into, the more things you can kind of process, operate. And if it's for you, you may use it as social currency. I haven't been on a date in four plus years. This is going to be tragic. <laughs> I can tell already. Oh, man. He started off with, hey, everybody. This is a collective conversation. Oh, no. He said, I posted here before less than two weeks ago because I was having trouble figuring out how to get into a position to date others. Interesting. I'm fairly introverted with not much, very much dating experience. I've been a lot more motivated the past few months to get into a new relationship but it's not so clear to me that what i should be doing to maximize my odds to maximize my odds sir if you don't go outside and start talking to women at a rapid speed anyway in my last post here i shared some strategies first things first lose the strategies all right you don't need strategies to talk to women just go up talk to them if they reject you take the l learn from it come back come back the next day with better lines or whatever the case may be brush your teeth more i don't know scrub your tongue but anyways um <laughs> in my last post here i shared some strategies i try to do with meeting others and my tinder profile and many of the comments i received were very critical of my photos and profile from all the feedback i received i decided to hire a professional photographer to give myself more okay 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 he opened up the floodgates he already posted it somewhere so i'm gonna put the pictures up on screen i'm gonna blur out his tinder profile and all this stuff but yo this is wild <laughs> 
<laughs> Critical feedback is an understatement. Yo. <laughs> Yo, in the past, I've never really had much success using Tinder or other dating apps in general. So I'm open to any suggestions that you all may provide. Do you think that buying a subscription is something I should invest in as well? Damn, King, don't do it. What's going on in the streets? This guy's asking everyone if he should update his subscription to Tinder. He hasn't been on a date in four years. That is tough. How many of you no fat dudes can go four years with no cheeks? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get more mature for these conversations. But yo, bro, you got to get outside. I'm sorry, bro. Get off the forums. Get outside. Speak to women. It doesn't matter if you shake the first time, you're nervous the second time, you spill a drink the third time, whatever it is, you have to shake all that rust off. And being in these forums is not going to do it. And the dating apps are trash. The dude already said it in the last video. 46 of the women on the apps out of 50 are talking to four of the guys. Four of the guys have their pickings to 46 women. 46 men only are shooting for four women. It's not even. The odds are against you, sir. You really just have to really get outside. That's the tough thing. Now the dating apps, it's over with. The dating apps are not going to work. <laughs>